a cold winter morning over Moscow. Radar operators stare intently at their screens as an unidentified hypersonic object breaches the upper atmosphere at Mach 17. What would have been a defense nightmare just years ago is met with calm efficiency. The S-500 Prometheus is already tracking, already calculating, already preparing to render the incoming threat obsolete. The intercept that follows isn't just a defensive measure. It's a statement about the new boundaries of modern warfare. In a world where the concept of airspace superiority is constantly evolving, the S-500 Prometheus represents what many defense analysts consider the most significant leap in anti-access area denial capability of the last decade. Developed by Almaz Ante, the S-500 isn't merely an upgrade to the already formidable S-400 Triumph system. It's an entirely new class of air defense with capabilities that fundamentally alter strategic calculations across the globe. Beyond the atmosphere, the technical reality. The S-500's technical specifications read like a wish list from air defense commanders. With a reported engagement range of up to 600 kilometers for ballistic targets and 400 kilometers for aerodynamic targets, the system operates in a domain few competitors can touch. What truly distinguishes the S-500, however, is its engagement envelope. The system can allegedly intercept targets at altitudes up to 200 kilometers, effectively extending into near space. This isn't just impressive on paper. For military planners, this creates a three-dimensional defensive dome that encompasses hypersonic cruise missiles traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5.5, intercontinental ballistic missiles during mid-course phase, intermediate range ballistic missiles, low earth orbit satellites, tactical and strategic aircraft, including stealth platforms. The system reportedly employs the 77N6 series of missiles, including the 77N6N and 77N6N1, designed specifically for kinetic intercepts of hypersonic vehicles. These interceptors utilize hit-to-kill technology rather than traditional warheads, allowing for the neutralization of nuclear-armed missiles without triggering their payloads. Picture a chess match where one player suddenly reveals the ability to move in three dimensions, while the opponent remains confined to the board. This is the strategic advantage the S-500 potentially offers its operators. The strategic calculus. Deterrence through denial. For military strategists, the introduction of the S-500 forces a fundamental reconsideration of escalation dominance theory. When paired with other elements of Russia's integrated air defense system, IADS, the S-500 creates what defense analysts call strategic depth, layers of overlapping capabilities that can degrade, disrupt, and ultimately deny freedom of movement across multiple domains. The real power of the S-500 lies not just in its ability to intercept, but in its integration capabilities. The system is designed to operate as the command node for a network of air defense assets, including the S-400, S-300, and shorter range systems like the Pantsir S-1. This networked approach creates defense in depth while maximizing sensor coverage and intercept opportunities. The 91N6AM acquisition radar can reportedly track up to 500 targets simultaneously a capability that becomes particularly significant when considering saturation attacks designed to overwhelm traditional air defenses. By redistributing tracking and engagement responsibilities across networked platforms, the S-500 can theoretically maintain effectiveness even when facing multi-axis, multi-domain threats. The geopolitical implications. Shifting power dynamics. The deployment of the S-500 represents more than a technical achievement. It's a strategic signal. For nations considering the acquisition of the system, including traditional Russian defense clients like India, Turkey, and various Middle Eastern states, the S-500 offers something previously unattainable, a credible counter to the most advanced Western aerospace capabilities. This creates cascading effects across security relationships. NATO war planners must now account for potentially impenetrable zones where freedom of action cannot be guaranteed even for fifth-generation aircraft and standoff munitions. The calculus for humanitarian interventions, limited strikes, and other operations that presume air dominance requires fundamental reconsideration. 
The radar operator's screen illuminates with a new signature, this one moving laterally at the edge of the stratosphere. Is it a hypersonic glide vehicle making its approach run? A specialized electronic warfare platform attempting to blind the defense network? The S-500's artificial intelligence subroutines are already categorizing the threat, assigning engagement priorities, and distributing targeting data across the network. This is the new reality of integrated air defense. Reality check. Capabilities versus claims. Despite its impressive reported capabilities, questions remain about the operational status and true performance envelope of the S-500. Defense analysts note several challenges. One, production capacity limitations may restrict deployment numbers. Two, the system remains largely untested against actual hypersonic targets. Three, questions persist about its effectiveness against sophisticated electronic warfare. Four, integration with legacy systems may not achieve the seamless coordination claimed. Additionally, countermeasure development is already underway. The U.S. and its allies are exploring directed energy weapons, enhanced electronic warfare capabilities, and novel approach vectors specifically designed to degrade or bypass advanced integrated air defense systems like the S-500. The Future Battlefield Adaptation and Counteradaptation What makes the S-500 truly significant is how it accelerates the ongoing contest between offensive and defensive systems. Each advancement in one domain inevitably drives innovation in the other. The introduction of the S-500 has already influenced development priorities for next-generation standoff weapons with improved penetration capabilities, advanced decoys and electronic warfare systems, hypersonic weapons with unpredictable flight profiles, space-based assets with reconnaissance strike capabilities. For military professionals, the S-500 represents not an endpoint, but a new chapter in the ongoing technological contest that defines modern warfare. The system demonstrates how traditional concepts of air superiority are evolving into a more complex battle for electromagnetic spectrum dominance and decision space advantage. As the intercept concludes successfully over Moscow, defense ministers across Europe and Asia receive urgent briefings. Strategic calculations shift. Launch protocols are reviewed. Budget priorities are reconsidered. The battlefield hasn't changed physically, but conceptually, everything is different. This is the real impact of the S-500, not just in what it can do, but in how it forces everyone else to adapt. Conclusion. The new strategic reality. The S-500 Prometheus represents a significant evolution in air defense capability with potential strategic implications that extend far beyond Russia's borders. Whether the system fully delivers on its promised capabilities remains to be seen, but its very existence has already altered military planning assumptions and accelerated counter-innovation. For military audiences, the lesson is clear. Traditional concepts of airspace control based on generational advantages in aircraft technology face unprecedented challenges. The future belongs to those who can successfully integrate multi-domain capabilities, leverage electromagnetic spectrum advantages, and maintain decision superiority in increasingly contested environments. The age of assumed air dominance is ending. The S-500 is simply the most visible harbinger of this new reality.